Hello and welcome to the daily newscast within the United Countries special by the First Ukraine. You can find us at the frequencies available at our website firstua.com. Victoria Zibian is working for you in the studio. Thank you for joining us. Rules of ATO borders crossing need improvement. Parliament Commissioner for Human Rights Valeria Lutkovska claims, according to her, temporary order was not registered in Ministry of Justice and its full version was not published. People who want to leave ATO zone firstly need to get Ukrainian checkpoint and then come back home and wait for decision of the Commission. It could be dangerous, Mrs. Lutkovska says. I have concerns and most likely these fears will be confirmed that people are just afraid for their lives, will use other ways without a permission, will try to cross the ATO zone. It means that they will go just across the fields, which in many cases are simply mined. To get the pass paper, a person should fill the application. There he mentions passport data, name, surname, residence and the reason of leaving, where is he going, and identifying code. Persons should have the copies of these documents and those who want to visit relatives out of the ATO zone should show the documents which confirm the level of kinship. Pass paper are not foreseen for people under 18 years. It could become a serious problem for students whose universities were moved from the ATO zone and children whose parents cannot leave the area of military actions. It was said by Jeanne Lukianchuk, internally displaced persons expert. Today people run away from the danger zone, and it's not always such a family in classical meaning. Sometimes neighbors, relatives are asked to transfer their child to other city to save kid from danger. But this temporary order today provides that a child can be written only into their parents' past paper. Terrorists are trying to force Ukrainian soldiers out from the Baltseva and Volohirsk. In the ATO headquarters say that armed forces soldiers, together with volunteer battalions, return all the attack. All details from the hotspot of ATO watching our next story. In the Baltseva, still here, collectify ATO headquarters reports. In this city, a battlefield engagement is going on. Terrorists have already said they haven't trapped Ukrainian army in the Baltseva. From today, the road is shut on site completely, and everybody who come in and get out from this trap during for two or three hours will be under crossfire. Instead, at the ATO headquarters, assure there is no trap. Spokesman Turinet says Ukrainian military is still fighting for the city. They reflect attacks of militants. We don't speak about any trap. We don't discuss this question. They make a mistake in their plans. There is no trap. Fightings are going near the Baltseva in Vuklihirks. Earlier, it was completely under the control of Ukrainian army. Yesterday, terrorists attacked the city. Commander of Donbass battalion Semen Semenchenko wrote in his Facebook that Vuklihirsk is par partly under the control of militants. Meanwhile, in the ATO headquarters, this information was not confirmed. In fact, the city is not under the control of militants. Battle is still going. Live fire gunners still go on, and our soldiers are not going to abandon their positions. According to Data Road Regional Police today in the Baltseva, seven civilians were killed under the fire. Jan Dalchak, Helen Sarenko, First Ukraine. European Union decided to continue sanctions against Russia on more six months. They had been provided in March 2014 because of the annexation of the Crimea, such as the summary of EU Foreign Affairs Minister's meeting. Also, the blacklist of Russians in the Donbass separatists will be enlarged. Ministers should confirm it during the next meeting, which will be held on 9th of February. As you know, after the unacceptable attack in uh, Mariupol, I decided to convene this extraordinary council, also uh, on the request of member states in agreement with President Tusk. I will, as always, uh, work to keep our unity uh, and to exercise the maximum of pressure to stop the fighting and to reach a ceasefire. The Minsk agreements must remain as the basis for conflict's attenuation. Besides, the Berlin's, uh, Berlin Agreement concerning the limitation of heavy weapons with travel line should be executed. In case this conflict escalates in other regions, our reaction must be clear and strict. 
Counterintelligence of Security Service of Ukraine and representatives of armed forces had captured Russian mercenary in Lugansk region. You can see him on this video, which was given by Security Service of Ukraine. He is a resident of Stavropolsk land and he was a mechanic driver of tank. The man said that he was recruited by Russian police. In terroristic Lugansk People's Republic, he fought it under the commandment of Russian officers. He agreed to fight against Ukraine in exchange on dismissing of his criminal case. In December, he was arrested arrested in Rostov on Don for out the sift. My tank has been shot and the commander ordered to arrange a maneuver and come to a field. As the clash takes place here in the open field, I couldn't have imagined that such things are possible here. I have come around when it mostly finished. Vladimir Putin assembled National Security and Defense Council of Russia to discuss the events on the east of Ukraine. It was admitted the situation in Donbass becomes worse. Today, Russian Minister of Defense Sergei Shoigu stated that Russia will threaten military presence at the commanding heights. We do not intend to take part in long-term arms race, but we are ready to ensure our country's defensive ability in the new conditions. For this aim, the full-scale implementation of arming program is provided. Nadia Savchenko, who is hunger striking during near two months, had written a letter to Russian opposition on Mark Hilperin, who was arrested on organizing of meeting for her support. In the letter, Ukrainian pilot thanks activists and encouraged them not to give up. Ms. Savchenko had been transferred from the pretrial detention facility to prison hospital Sailor Silence on the eve because her health went down. And on the outskirts of Mexico, in maternity home, the explosion of gas has happened. Seven people died, four of them were babies. More than 60 people were injured, 20 of them are newborn children. Now the part of the building where the explosion has happened is totally destroyed. Lifeguards and firefighting crews are working here. Injured people still could be under the fragments of the building. The explosion was at the kitchen when the gas balloons were filled. According to previous data, the accident has happened because of the damage Host tube, which by the gas was delivering. The information we have been receiving was quite contradictory. First, they reported just about explosion without fatal casualties. We evacuated everyone. Then they said that one third of the building was ruined. Now we precisely know that the maternity hospital is destroyed for 70 percent, and there are dozens of victims. Ukrainian Motive said the Fashion Week in Paris, new collection Spring-Summer 2015 was presented by the designer of Valentina Fashion House, Maria Grazia Curie and Pier Paolo Piccioli. Embroidery was used to decorate the clothing. Therefore, West Coast shirts and suits on the catwalk reminded Ukrainian national clothes. Some dresses were made as it for a peasant of the 19th century. Hair of models was decorated with wreaths and flowers. It was the United country news cast by the First Ukraine. You can find more details at our website, firstua.com. Victoria Zabian was working for you in the studio. We wish you on the good news. Take care and goodbye.